Hi hey everybody, Light here. I wanted to speak a little word of encouragement to my brothers and sisters in Christ. I know what it's like to go through persecution from people around you, from family members. Could be from close friends that you used to have that are going the opposite direction. Maybe they're in the world, they're of the world. You know, they're not letting go of the things of this world. I understand that. And they come against you. They come against you with revilings. And they reproach your name. And Christ had something to say about this. In Luke chapter 6, verse 22 and 23. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you and shall separate you from their company and reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for great is your reward in heaven. For in like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. It's normal. It's normal for us to be hated by all men, especially by those who are going the opposite direction that we are going. They see us heading in one direction they want to pull us back down back into the system back into the system of the prince of the power of the age of the air I'm telling you the truth this is a normal thing don't think it's strange we need to hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering for he is faithful that promised and I promise you, if you will hold on, God will open the windows of heaven to you, and he will pour out a blessing unto you. Do not fall back. Do not give any ground to the adversary. You know he's out to seek and to destroy your life. That's what he's for. And he uses those you love against you. I know this. The most powerful voice against you who is it? It's your own family. It's your own friends, the ones whose opinion you value. And if you value their opinion above God, you're going to take their spirit and not God's. If you value their opinion above God, what does that say about you? Who are you truly honoring? Are you going to honor Christ above all? Or are you going to take their philosophies? Will you honor God and his word? Or will you cow down, back down, and take their philosophies and the traditions and vain deceits of men? In Deuteronomy, I believe it's chapter 5, God says, Oh, that there were such a heart in my people, that they should fear me and follow my commandments always, that it may be well with them and their children forever. I was quoting that from memory. I may have gotten that wrong, but you get the idea. God wants a people called out, separated unto him. He wants a people who's in their heart is his law who meditate on his commands day and night who fear him respect him and follow his commandments always preach the word in season and out of season reprove rebuke and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine but the time is already here when men do not endure sound doctrine Just remember to listen for the still, small voice. Be still and know that he is God. Peace be upon all my brothers and sisters in Christ. I love you all.